This is a next-generation armor turret from a Turkish defense company Rocketson. It is a modular turret that can be installed on different chassis types including T-72, M-60, Leopard 1. The MZK turret is a complete solution package it can upgrade the existing second-generation tank into third-generation tank. With high cost of producing and acquiring new tanks, this type of upgrade on existing old platform is both economical and feasible. The low silhouette turret front is offering protection against tandem warheads anti-tank missiles like Cornet and TOW missiles. Behind the era the standard turret armor is Stanag Level 6 which can protect against 30mm APFSDS shells. Another advantage of this turret system is that it is equipped with an autoloader system. The autoloader removes both the need of loader and increases the firing rate of main gun. Then shells are protected in an armor cabin with blowout panels. The armor modules on this turret are detachable and can be varied according to the level of threat. In terms of firepower, it can be tailored to both 105mm and 125mm guns. In case of 125mm 2A46 gun there are 22 ready to fire rounds. And with 105mm gun there are 18 ready to fire shells. The turret also incorporates advanced fire control system that is augmented with latest sights for both commander and gunner. There is a remote weapon station with 7.62mm gun at the top of the turret. In terms of situational awareness, the turret is equipped with laser warning receivers and closed circuit cameras. After the installation of this turret on tanks, there is also an impact on the mobility. With the weight of only 13 tons, it is lighter as compared to 18 tons T-72 turret. This reduction in weight will result in the increase in power-to-weight ratio, and ultimately increase in mobility of tank. The MZK turret is offering a single solution to old second-generation tanks which are in service with countries that are unable to afford new main battle tanks, and the threat level is also increasing. The field tests of the MZK have been successfully completed, and Turkish firm will offer it to foreign armies.